Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the presentation of the colors and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance and the playing of the National Anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Cadet Colonel Salinas. Please be seated. <laughs> Distinguished platform guests, 2016 graduates, members of the faculty, family, and friends, as principal of Brian Adams High School Leadership Academy, I welcome you to this momentous occasion. The members of the graduating class, along with the guidance from family, friends, and teachers have worked hard to accomplish this honor. Class of 2016, today is your time to reflect on your years at Bryan Adams High School, and today is your day to celebrate your accomplishments. For the past three years, I have witnessed great things from the class of 2016. Nearly 100% of seniors completed their applied Texas college application, over 60% of seniors completed their FAFSA and TASFA application, up 10% from last school year. And as a graduating class, 
you have earned over $3.7 million in scholarship money with 111 students earning at least one or more scholarships or grants. It is exciting to see so many students making their college dreams a reality. Class of 2016, not only have you left your mark by earning numerous awards, winning multiple championships, completing thousands of hours of community service, but you are leaving your school a better place for future scholars. You have helped create and implement the Leadership Academy, and you have demonstrated your leadership skills with projects such as the Creek Cleanup, engaging more than 200 participants, including your board trustee and executive director. You have created all-inclusive clubs such as Danceversity that will impact students for years to come. Class of 2016, thank you. Thank you for your years of service, leadership to your campus and to your community. After you walk across the stage today, each of you will be on your own journey, whether you're going to college, the military, or entering a career. We want you all to know we are proud of you, and we support you. At this time, it is now my honor to introduce our distinguished guest this evening, District 3 Trustee Dan Mishke, Executive Director of the Brian Adams Feeder Pattern, Dr. Joanne Hughes, and now my faculty and staff, Assistant Principals, Israel Cabrera, Carisha Hearns, Salam Hussein, Mallory Sanders, and our Senior Class Assistant Principal, Mike Moran. <laughs> Guidance Counselors, Katherine Evans, Mitzi Gensler, Stephanie Gibbons, and our senior counselors, Laura Leigh Berrios and Shannon Rodriguez. I'd also like to thank Coach Morrow with the AVID program, Ms. Wynn with the Academic Success Program, and Ms. White with Communities and Schools for their dedication to helping our students be college bound. Also, I want to thank our excellent teachers at Brian Adams High School Leadership Academy for helping our students reach and exceed their goals. Teachers, please stand to be recognized. I would also like to recognize our feeder pattern elementary and middle school principals for setting a solid foundation for our students and for supporting our students from their kindergarten years through their high school career and beyond. Principals, please stand to be recognized. Principal Susie Staus, Gaston Middle School. Principal Candice Ruiz, Robert T. Hill Middle School. Principal Hector Martinez, Alex Sanger Elementary. Principal Laura Morris, Larry G. Smith Elementary. Principal Phoebe Montgomery, Reinhardt Elementary. Principal Damian Stovall, Charles A. Gill Elementary. Principal Oscar Aponte, Casa View Elementary. Principal Yasmin Cruz, Edwin J. Keith Elementary. Principal Marion Jackson, Riley Elementary. Principal Jennifer Jackson, Hexter Elementary. Principal Robbie Wilson, Bales Elementary. Principals, thank you for your support. It is important that we recognize the most essential people who helped us all get here today, our parents. Our parents are those who help us every step of the way. Seniors, give your parents a round of applause for their continued support and enduring love. I'd also like to recognize our student council leaders. Leading the senior class are four amazing students who deserve recognition. President Genesis Morales. Vice President Cesar Garcia. Secretary Julissa Cordona. Treasurer Debeni Miramontes. And our historian Haley Spears. 
Next, we honor our members of the National Honor Society. National Honor Society students, please stand to be recognized. You may be seated. Also, those students graduating in the top 10% of their class, please stand to be recognized. Congratulations. You may be seated. For all seniors who completed a performance exhibition this year, please stand to be recognized. Way to lead the way, 2016. Before we begin today's events, we ask that you please lend dignity and honor to the graduation ceremony. Only the best manner should be displayed as the faculty as each family wishes to hear their graduates' name called. The mark of good character is to display courtesy to others. I feel sure that you will demonstrate this type of character today. Now it is my honor to welcome the Senior Class Vice President, Cesar Garcia. Good evening, parents, teachers, friends, and 2016 graduates. I'd like to begin by saying thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak. I hope I don't mess up too much because I won't be able to dance my way out of this one. Now, I cannot continue without honoring a great mentor and person who passed away this year. Mrs. Deborah Maynard was more than a teacher. She enjoyed sharing her passion for chemistry with her students, and I, a witness of her infinite willingness. I am truly sad that she isn't here to watch her students walk the stage. She will truly be missed in our presence and remembered in our hearts. Mrs. Maynard and all the teachers and staff of Brian Adams deserve much gratitude for their endless endeavor to help us grow to become the eager young people we are. Like Mrs. Maynard, we all have a passion for something that drives us to greater extents. First, we look back. It seems like it was yesterday when we walked into our first day of high school as small, insecure, and frightened little freshmen. Together, over our four years at Brian Adams, we have memories that have made high school great and that we will never forget. Memories like meeting someone that would later become your best friend Love you, Squatty. Or setting your hardest for tests the period before. I will truly miss all the great things that only high school has to offer, like Friday Night Lights and how we would go grub after every game, the Bell's eye-opening jump spillets that would conclude the traditional bell kick, or their annual spring show that would always sell out and would give opportunity for students to share their passion on stage. I will miss how we all came together to show our Kruger pride during homecoming week and how that pride stood all the way to the victory over Woodrow, topping off our senior year. We have grown up over these last four years from the insecure freshman to the mature senior, for the most part, and are prepared to seek and solve the complex problems of the world, like Mr. Castle. Now, Let's move to the part where I am supposed to motivate you all to be successful people. Whether you began your high school career with a passion, or you found it throughout the years like me, or you're still looking for it in Mr. Stern's beard, we can all agree that without motivation, we wouldn't have made it this far. For me, that passion has been dance. It has helped me grow, into, grow out of my shell and explore new horizons. Without dance, I wouldn't have had the guts to get involved in so many different things, as you can see. Many students can agree that they have had a passion that, met, that helped them make it throughout high school. Whether it was playing an instrument or keeping an audience entertained with their jokes, that passion is something that will keep you going and will lead to your success. Your success is measured by your willingness to act and is driven by the passion in you. When something you are passionate about enters your life, you know. You know because it alters your existence and changes the course of your life. 
Your passion will move you to go all out on something so far that people associate you as a step short of crazy. To be passionate about something is to withstand the storm no matter how hard it hits. If practicing for hours on the guitar makes the skin of your fingers break, or dancing the ballet to the tune of the Nutcracker gives you ugly toes, passion says, so be it. You cease to care because at the end of the day, you want to be known as a person who can play the hardest piece in their sleep or be able to dance even without all their toes. In other words, you want to be the best of the best. But the gift of passion is nothing without the work. Being passionate means being invested, which refers to how much of yourself you put into your passion. The time, the effort, the costs, the blood and sweat. It's never going to always be positive energy or good news that come your way. Passion is a combination of love and hatred because along with obsession comes a need for perfection. We all want everything to be the best possible and will seek to achieve it. Passionate people are always ambitious. We want to succeed, so we go for it and we'll jump over any obstacle in our way. But remember, it is not enough to be passionate. You must surround yourself with people who understand and back that passion. You alone are not enough. For example, I was continuously challenged by society about my ability to dance because I am a guy. And I owe it to Mrs. Solorio, Ms. Hargiano, Coach Mauro, Ms. Sue, Ms. Harwood, and my mom and dad for always being there to help me get back on my feet if I ever fell. There will always be someone or something, something trying to stray you from your journey to the top. And you must look for your passion to help you keep going and persevere. T.S. Eliot once said that it is obvious that we can no more explain a passion to a person who has never experienced it than we can explain light to the blind. We can think about passion the same way that we think about talent. Not everyone is gifted with it. Even if they are, not everyone has a bravery or the opportunity to embrace their passion. In order to survive, most of us prefer to be practical rather than passionate. Yes, getting a steady job, buying a car, paying your bills is important. Don't get me wrong. It is necessary to have a steady income to pursue your dreams. But I do not believe it when people say, I am passionate about my work. Are you working for the money or are you working for what you love? It's a fine line between the two, but to be technical about it, it's still a line. When it comes to passion, there's a need to be brave enough to both acknowledge and embrace it. Some let their passion take over the wheel and do things that challenge the status quo, push boundaries, break traditions, and ultimately reshape the world as we need it. To strive for your passion is to be different from the rest. So, tonight, I encourage all the graduates to find their passion, embrace it, be different from the rest, challenge the status quo, and reshape the world, because that is what will be the key to our happiness these next years of our lives. I'd like to close with a quote from Joe O'Mary. You can Google for an answer, you can Google for a mate, you can Google for a career, and you cannot Google to find what's in your heart, the passion that lifts you skyward. Class of 2016, go forth, strive, seek, find, and do not yield. Thank you. Thank you, Caesar. It is an honor to welcome the salutatorian for the graduating class of 2016, Jordan Baldomero. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you are all excited and having a great day. Today, we graduate. Today represents a mo monumental transition in our lives. Today, we go from high school into the real world. High school has trained us for this very moment. First, I would like to tell the tale of my parents who came to the United States from Cuba. In 1994, my father left Cuba at the age of 20, and my mother left Cuba around 20 years ago at the age of 18. Both of them left their home countries for opportunities that weren't available there. They both had to learn to leave things behind so that they could better their lives. Until last year, my mother has not seen her homeland. My dad has still not returned back to Cuba. For the 20 plus years that they've been away, they didn't see their mothers, fathers, grandparents, or any other friends that they had. 
They had to leave it all behind to change their own lives. It was hard to leave everything behind, but they had to, and they toughened up and moved forward. They still feel the sadness that they have within themselves about leaving, but they had survived the years. My mother, for the first time in 20 years, got to go back to Cuba last year, but for her, it was too late. Her father passed away to cancer because she, before she got to see him. My, mother ne my father never met his father in person and has already been 20 plus years without seeing his mother and brother. Those are their sacrifices, but they didn't let those difficulties stop them. Every morning, we hear Mr. Castle tell us, be tenacious. And it might seem silly, but tenacity is actually a great and huge part of life. I have witnessed difficulties, and I noticed that we have all been letting go of things throughout our lives. When we were little, we had to get rid of habits, behaviors, and much more. Now that we're older, we have to let go of things that are bigger than the toys we used to play with as children and the childish natures that we used to have. One of the many things that we'll have to let go of are the friends that are sitting around us right now. That's only the first hardship that we'll have in life, but this hardship will ease us into building the strength and courage that we'll need for the future. The hundreds of friends around you, you may not know them a few years from now. People come and go. They come in and out of your life. But that's okay. And I'm right there with all of you, letting go of things, going through life, and I'm scared as well. But it's all right. Life is hard, but like every other obstacle that you've had in your life to this point, will pass by and you'll grow from it. Although some people may be leaving your life, there will be those that are still going to be with you no matter what. I myself have a few friends that have been with me through thick and thin. Jasmine Alvarez, Alejandro Castillo, Miguel Ramirez, Denise Chavez, Andres Garcia, and Jesus Trujillo, and a few others are friends of mine that aren't just friends, they're my family. While we aren't related by blood, we are related by the bonds that tie us together. Just like all of you in the audience, you have some really close friends that aren't just your families, I mean your friends, but they're also your family. Now look around and find them. Remember all the good times that you had together. Think of all the good memories, the ups and downs that you've had together and now cherish those moments. They shaped who you are and you shaped who they are. In the years to come, remember them and what they have contributed to you. You may have to let go of contact with them, but the memories will live on inside of you. To save time and to make a long story short, life will be difficult. There will be moments when you feel like you can't go on anymore. There will be moments that you want to break down and cry. But even if you feel like that, you'll find the strength to move on and keep going for that strength originates here on this day. Today, we learn to let things go, to move on, and to live life even in its toughest moments. The first thing we'll be letting go of is our daily routines going to school here at Brian Adams High School. The next thing, we'll be letting ourselves go so that the world can take us on a ride like no other. By how my parents had the strength to let go of all they had, I believe that every single one of you graduating today will be able to find the power within yourselves to make the sacrifices needed in order for you to live your own lives. As you learn to let go of everything around you at this moment, just know that what you let go will return to you in another form as something bigger and better than what you have now. So don't cry and don't be saddened by what you're losing. Be happy that you had it to begin with. And whatever it is that exits your life will leave space for something greater to come along. Class of 2016, show life that you're stronger than whatever it throws at you. I wish you all good luck in life. Thank you.
Thank you for those powerful words, Jordan. It is now my pleasure to introduce the class of 2016 president, Genesis Morales. As senior class president, it is my honor to introduce Mr. Dan Mitchkay, the District 3 trustee. Dan Mitchkay is a partner at the law firm of Atkin, Gump, Strauss, Power, and Feld. He has been recognized by D Magazine as one of the best lawyers in Dallas, by Texas Monthly as super lawyer, and as one of the best lawyers in America. Mr. Mitchkay started and chaired his firm's school partnership program with James W. Fannin Elementary School in Dallas from 2005 to 2012. The program won the State Board of Education's highest award for community partnerships in 2011. Mr. Mitchkay and his family have lived in East Dallas for over 25 years. He was elected to the school board in 2012 and re-elected in May of last year to another three-year term. He will serve as the board secretary. Mr. Mitchkay, the class of 2016 is honored to have you here today. Well, thank you very much for that nice introduction, Genesis. And Good afternoon, graduates, and congratulations on the accomplishments that we are celebrating today. Your families, teachers, friends, and all of us here are very proud of you. As a member of the school board, it is the highest honor for me to be able to say a few words to you, the Brian Adams class of 2016, as you move on to another exciting phase of your life. As graduates, you're embarking on a new journey. You'll have more opportunities, face more challenges, and make many hard decisions. You have the ability to determine your own destiny. My advice to you is to follow your dreams, reach for the stars, and never give up on yourselves. Whatever your dreams are, you must understand that you're not likely to reach them easily or quickly. Along the way, you'll have many setbacks and disappointments. Almost every successful person, every person who has achieved his or her dreams has failed and had to overcome disappointments and setbacks before they succeeded. Nelson Mandela once said, the greatest glory in living lies not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. And Winston Churchill said, success is the ability to go from one failure to another with no loss of enthusiasm. Michael Jordan, the great basketball player described his career this way. I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot and missed. I've failed over and over and over again in my life, and that's why I succeed. And one more tidbit about Michael Jordan, he was cut from his high school basketball team. We know Abraham Lincoln is one of our greatest presidents, but before he was elected president, he ran for the state legislature and lost. Then he ran for Congress and he lost. Then he ran for the United States Senate twice and he lost. He also sought the vice president to a nomination of his own party and he lost, but he never gave up on himself. And when he became president in 1861, he never gave up on his goal of keeping the country together despite numerous losses on the battlefields of the Civil War. We all know that Thomas Edison invented the light bulb, but few remember it took him over a thousand tries to do it. He did not give up. He once described his attempts this way. I did not fail a thousand times. The light bulb was an invention with a thousand steps. Whatever your dreams are, they will involve some risk of failure. Don't be afraid to follow your dreams just because you, won't, you might not succeed right away. Oprah Winfrey, one of the most successful entertainers and businesswomen in history, once said, I believe that one of life's greatest risks is never daring to risk. Do the one thing you think you cannot do. Fail at it. Try again. Do better the next time. And a long time ago, Mark Twain said to a young friend, 20 years from now, you'll be most disappointed by the things that you didn't try because you were afraid to fail. There's a beautiful song by Leanne Womack that was popular when all of you were about three or four years old. It's 
filled with great advice about life, and the name of the song is I Hope You Dance. The refrain in the song is, when you get the choice to sit it out or dance, I hope you dance, I hope you dance. This is, of course, not just about dancing, but a metaphor about choosing to live life to the fullest, to risk failure and to follow your dreams. And Wayne Gretzky, the great hockey player, he was, he was hockey's all-time leading scorer, put it nicely when he said, you miss all the shots you don't take. So go out there and follow your dreams. Don't be afraid to fail, and when you stumble and fall, get back up again. Before I close, let me offer you one other suggestion. Although you've seen many of your teachers and counselors every day for the past four years, chances are pretty high that you'll never see some of them again after today. Take a minute to seek out and thank someone special who helped you get here today. You will always be glad you made that effort. In closing, let me say again, congratulations to you, the Brian Adams class of 2016. Go Cougars. I wish you the, every success in life. Thank you, Trustee Mishke. As principal of Brian Adams High School Leadership Academy, I hereby affirm that each candidate has met all requirements for graduation as determined by the state of Texas and the Dallas Independent School District, and that they are qualified to receive their diplomas or they are otherwise qualified to participate in this graduation ceremony consistent with the laws of the state of Texas and the Dallas Independent School District. Good evening. As the executive director for the Brian Adams Feeder Pattern of the Dallas Independent School District, I am pleased to confirm the certification of the 2016 graduates of the Brian Adams High School Leadership Academy. I am pleased to award these diplomas certifying these students are graduates of the Dallas Independent School District. Congratulations, graduates. Students graduating in the top 10% of their class, Jordan Ivan Baldomero, Genesis Morales, Cesar Garcia, Julissa Raquel Cardona, Haley Paige Spears. De Benny Italia Miramontes. Jeanette Gonzalez. Miguel Ramirez Reyes. Wendy Serrano. Diego Talavera Ramirez. Lisbeth Vazquez. Jessica Ann Shipman. Carolina Salmaron. Eric Salazar Torres. Mario Mendez. Marta Loza. Andres Garcia. Benjamin Loza Jr. Alisa Renee Vargas. 
Maria Cynthia Sarato Sanchez. Adam Ulysses Garcia. Jessica LaShawn Childress. Jesus Antonio Velazquez. Lucia Maria Vargas. Adriana Arzola. Arlette Ortiz. Shelly Sierra. Antonio Parnell Barnes Jr. Evelyn Guzman. Naomi Martinez. Umberto Ortiz. Lily Wu. Oscar Ociel Torres. Denise Garza. Fabiola Arelli Ortiz. Brian Ortega. Brianna Hollows. This concludes the top 10% graduates. Pedro Manuel Casas. Molly Philippa Flowers. Freddie Montano. Alejandro Martinez. Luz Maria Perez. Kagan Shade Dixon. Jeanette Adame Zamora. Brisella Aguirre Ortiz. Yalen Alcaraz. Rocio Alcocer. Destiny Denise Alex. Sarai Almanzan Montalvo. Katie Lynn Alvarado Torres. Alan Alvarez. Yasmin Alvarez. Sarah Alicia Alvarez Rivera. Tanya Lizeth Ancheta. Stephanie Andrade Trejo. Guadalupe Andrade. Jose Angel Andrade. Juan Arellano. Mariah Natalie Arevalo. Arguello, Ar Axel Arguello. Derek Arnold Jr. Jeanette Paloma Ariaga. Moises Asensio. Karina Avila. 
Ashley Julissa Ayala. Jose Antonio Baldio Sanchez. Eddie Angelo Balderas. Javier Baltazar Cardenas. Kyrie Antoine Deontay Beecham. Crystal Benitez. Jennifer Fernandez Bermejo. Jocelyn Bernal. Decorian Bridges. Alexander Blake Browning. Daniel Adrian Cabrera. Eva Alejandra Cabrera. Jose Manuel Caldera. Abize Calderon. Claudia Celeste Calderon. Jorge Miguel Calderon. Christopher Jonathan Camacho. Jose Eduardo Cardenas. Carla Ruby Carrillo. Joe. Angel Cazares. Alexandra Cachat. Luis Fernando Castañeda. Sergio Castaneda. Gerardo Castillo. Alejandro Castillo. Yeni Marlon Castor Gonzalez. Jesus Cazares. Lori Zenia Cervantes. Rui Razak Shadri. Denise Chavez. Evelyn Arlette Chavez. Mark Anthony Chavez. Teresa Chavez Aguilar. Paloma Isabel Christensen. Luis Contreras. Jasmine Rochelle Cox. Dennis Ricardo Cruz Granado. Jose Ruben Cruz. Leo Cuevas. Johnny Dang. Brianna Davidson. Christian De La Cruz. Anahi De Leon. Isabel De Leon. Yasmin Delgado. Eduardo De Luna. Mario Diaz. Abel A. Dominguez III. Yahira Daisy Corteza Dumas. 
Angelica Natalia Duran. Jasmine Emery. Abraham Escutia. Julissa Esparza. Eduardo Espinoza. Jimena Espetia Rodriguez. Drayton Estrada. Marissa Estrada. Yanira Favela Ortiz. Clarissa Fernandez. Matthew Digaroa. Nancy Flores. Rosemary Flores. Sylvia Amarani de Hill Flores. Karina Franco. Maria Julia Fuentes. Rogelio Fuentes Ramos. Sitlali Abigail Galaviz. Veronica Elizabeth Galdamez. Andrea Galvan. Pedro J. Galvan. Araceli Garcia. Christopher Sandoval Garcia. Roberto Gavina III. Michelle Jelen Salinas. Nicholas Ray Godina. Anthony Rodolfo Gomez. Alexander Gonzalez. Andrea Gonzalez. Blas Gonzalez. Ivan Gonzalez. Luis Gonzalez. Rene Nicholas Gonzalez. Ricardo Adrian Gonzalez. Betsabe Gronados. DeAndre Green. Rodrigo Lazric Greer. Kristen J. Guerrero. David Eduardo Guerrero. Ulyssa Gutierrez. Gregory Hawkins. Paul Larhe. Deanna Hernandez. Ethan R. Hernandez. Griselda Hernandez Carrillo. Jovan Hernandez. Maria Hernandez. Jose Angel Herrera. Maleni Herrera. Ulysses Herrera. Kamitria Rayshawn Hester. Kenyanika Danielle Holmes. J. 
John Jackson. Jonathan Dwayne Jackson. Rakia Deshay Jackson. Blanca Hakabo Morales. Jonathan Jaramillo Faya. Deanna Geronimo Palencia. Juan Jose Jimenez. LeBroderick Taiwan Johnson. Orlando Jordan. Katia Juarez Guzman. Alexis Juarez. Tristan Caroline Kimberlin. Damian Ash Kempo. Po Hua Lei. Van Chu Lee. Eden Liao. Yarumi Leon. Eunice Lerma. Jeanette Renee Lira. Gerardo Lopez Aguilar. Andrea Lopez. Jacqueline Lopez. Jose Francisco Lopez. Ricardo Lopez. Fabian Maciel. Juan Fernando Maldonado Garcia. Jose Gabriel Maldonado. Grace Mancha. Sabrina Mares. Kian M. Marks. Jocelyn Marquez. Nidia Yanet. Martinez Rojas. Irene Jennifer Martinez. Cecilia Martinez. Felipe Martinez. Gerardo Daniel Martinez. Hakabo Osiel Martinez. Rebecca Martinez. Stephanie Martinez. Valerie Martinez. Elizabeth Mata. Luis. Mata Christopher A. McCrary Charlie Samaje McCree Zanastasia Lamonte McKinney Cristo Jesus Medrano Jose Elias Mendez Jr. Alondra Mendoza. Ivan Mendoza. Jesus Mendoza. Miguel Angel Mendoza Jr. 
Brenda Meza. Annabelle Miranda. Victoria Nicole Mitchell. Luis Enrique Molina. Maria Isabel Mondragon. Vanessa Mondragon. Bianca A. Monsevais. Fabian David Montes. Carlos Mora Jr. Graciela Morales Galvan. Diego Morales. Ezekiel Gilberto Morales. Jonathan Morales. Stephen Morales. Michael Mosley. Pe Mu. Saira Morataya Prado. Rebecca Murillo. Kyle Henry Nash. Alejandra Nava. Alejandro Negron. Rashawn Nelson. Beatriz Adriana Nunez. Jimmy Odie the Fourth. Nancy Arelli Ojeda. Alexis Oliva. Vanessa Gazka Ortega. Julia Del Carmen Ortiz. Andy O. Christian Padilla. Myra Cristal Padilla. Richard Palomino III. London Pedroso. Yasmin Perez Escobar. Alexis Perez. Henry Perez. Leslie Perez. Valeria Perez. Isaac Wendell Phillips. Dexter James Pringle. Jose Quintana. Jennifer Ramirez. Oneda Ramirez. Ramon Ramirez. Yamila Ramirez. Malik Ransom. Franco Reyes. Jennifer Racinos. Eddie Wright. Francisco Samuel Reyes Martinez. Rolando Reza. Darius Floyd Rice. Annie 
Rin. Abraham Rivas. Jesus Adrian Rivas. Brandon Moises Rivera. Fidel Adrian Rivera. Rocio Guadalupe Rivera. Brene Ronhelin Robinson. Anthony Rodriguez Jr. Elizabeth Rodriguez. Hector Rodriguez. Hugo Rodriguez. Jeanette Rodriguez. Rodrigo Ruben Rodriguez. Sebastian Bertin Rodriguez. Francisco Rojas. Christopher Roman. Giovanni Roman. Alberto Romero. Fernando Alexis Romero. Nicaela Romero. Forrest Rory. Monica Rosales. Juan Alberto Ruiz. Sebastian Sines. Carolina Catalina Salazar. Deanna Salinas. Nancy Salinas. Karen Nayeli Sanchez. Maria Luisa Sanchez. Maria Edith Sandoval. Robert Sandoval. Delaney Santian. Jesus Ramon Santoyo. Emmanuel Sarinana Rodriguez. Rosie Sacedo. Salma Sacedo. Diana Inez Segovia. Brian Serrano. LaKayla K. Sharper. Marion Smith. Moesha Denise Smith. Patrick Smith. Andrew Solis. Jose Guadalupe Soria. Vicente Soria. Marlene Sosa Magana. Orlando Sosa. Daisy Soto. Nathan Andrew Stewart. Marco Suarez. Christina Sumbler. Guadalupe Torres Vargas. Efren 
Torres. Gabriela Torres. Sergio Joaquin Torres. Vanessa Anahi Torres. Alexia Tovar. Jennifer Trujillo. Jesus Macario Trujillo. Gladys Valdez. Eric Vargas. Jose Vasquez. Cesar Vasquez Carreon. Elda Vega Olvera. Victoria Marie Velasco. Stefan Alexander Velasquez. Jesus Daniel Velasquez. Mario Velasquez. Victoria Esperanza Verdicia. Federico Vergara. Keontae Demon West. Nicholas John Wyman. Reginald Williams. Shantia Womack. Justin B. M. Woodley. Etta Yu. Giselle Zaragoza. Iskali Zuniga. Congratulations, class of 2016. <laughs> Students, please rise. At this time, please turn your tassels from the right to the left and remain standing for the Brian Adams alma mater. Great job, 2016. Students, if you'll please have a seat.